This is a very quick training type video um, covering bat drag, what bat drag is and what bat drag isn't. Basically, bat drag is anytime the rear elbow will lead the rear hand at any point during a swing, at any time during a launch and into contact. And what you see in all high level hitters is that back elbow will never, not at any point, will it ever lead the hands into the zone so we'll put a couple of these dots up here just so we can see them real good um, be able to still take a look that the elbow is never going to leave the hands lead the hands not ever not at any point kind of turn through basically here to there basically here to there take it through again and and bat drag just very quickly you know bat drag one of the real problems with bat drags is is um maintain maintaining good swing path um bat drag is uh a real a real problem with getting the bat down and under the ball you know bat drag dropping that elbow down underneath is a real problem with um with staying on plane with the pitch coming at you and maintaining the bat the length and the mass of the bat on plane with the shoulders as we get through the ball so what we're going to go through real quick is we're just going to take a couple of a couple of very fast looks at um at bat drag and some indications of bat drag and to to watch the elbow get down underneath and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this through i'm going to take it through and you can see the bat drag but at the same time i am going to um show you what some of these hitters have been doing to kind of correct this problem and so we just see kind of there kind of take it into this point and you can see the elbow here you can see the elbow behind the hands here and the elbow definitely far out in front of the hands there so this is before and after it's kind of a good job this is one of my uh one of my better hitters who's made some real progress and i'm i'm real proud of him so we take um some other looks and we see bat drag we'll take a look at bat drag and you know kind of see what's going on and how it kind of gets in there and here we can see again the back elbow in front of the hands i'll back that up so i mean you can see it here too elbow in front of the hands and bring this young man up the work he's been doing he's been doing a real good job of you know getting rid of bat drag and we kind of take it through and we'll kind of freeze it at basically at any point we'll freeze it over here where we can really see the you know the elbow outlined on the shirt and we have here we have the elbow behind the hands and here we obviously have it in front of the hands and bat drag is um you know bat drag is basically really common amongst lots of hitters i mean there's lots of hitters that do this at all different age groups too um you know we can see this young lady as she kind of swings through just kind of a function just trying to understand what is bat drag some of the difficulties that bat drag does cause and you know just basically that anybody can correct it doesn't matter you know i mean we could see the elbow really jab down underneath in here you see the big gaps created here and um you know with some work you know this young man also has uh done some phenomenal things you know, he's a real determined real stubborn kind of kind of kid and we take him through and we see the elbow here so it's so understanding bat drag um to talk uh you know, real quickly, most of the indications that someone has bat drag, and I talk about indications because bat drag is very hard to see. Bat drag, those moments of times, for instance, let's say, for instance, let's take this young man right here and we'll take him ahead. We notice that the hands do get in front of the elbow here. And so the bat drag occurs just through these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Basically, ten frames, which is the blink of an eye talking about the blink of an eye you're talking about 10 hundredths of a second where the rear elbow will lead the rear hands and this is um you know this young man had bat drag pretty bad as the you know this virus really got into him it was kind of tearing up his swing and a lot of other people won't have bat drag basically to this extent they'll have bat drag to a much smaller extent you know which is where we also talk about the value of of slow motion video analysis we take um this high school hitter, he's a high school senior this year, great hitter. On the left over here is when he first came in, and we noticed the rear elbow is very easy to see on this frame. You can see the sunlight behind him, but you can also see on this frame how the elbow stays behind the hands, and he turned down and through. They're both connection here, so what I'm saying is, I mean, you can really see the elbow get ahead here. This looks like a much better job of, of getting, 
you know, getting the knob kind of linked to the posture, linked to the middle and being able to turn through quicker. But you can understand, you know, the bat drag happens super quick. You're not going to be able to always see it. Matter of fact, you're pretty rarely going to be able to see it in a high level college or, or high school player. So you really need to, you know, video helps. Let's just put it like that. There's no doubt about it. Video helps. Brought up a couple other hitters also just to show you that this virus, you know, this real, uh, this real killer to keeping kids in this great sport. Um, it's male and female, both male and female. I mean, it's pretty easy right here to see the elbow get in front of the hands. Take this young lady over here. We take her through and the same thing comes up. We see the elbow get in front of the hand. You see the bat get really wide from the body, creating these big gaps in the body. And so, you know, just to really understand, um, you know, that the virus happens in both swings. Um, and bring up Crystal Bustos real quick, just to kind of let you see kind of at the higher level. Crystal Bustos, one of the better female hitters of all time, I would say, and just being able to turn through and just watching that her back elbow will not lead her backhands either. And you'll notice that this humongous gap that we see over here, you'll never find in Crystal. Absolutely never will. She'll launch the barrel, stay tight, stay quick, and basically turn middle through the ball. So that's bat drag at its finest. Understand that uh, a lot of times you can see bat drag. Um, I highly recommend uh, shooting video, taking a look at video, slowing down video. But understand if you are someone that has bat drag, we've seen some before and after pictures, so we've seen quite a few of them. And understand that bat drag is just a, a natural movement. It's, it's how most people want to move mass around their body. Unfortunately, when a pitch ball is coming at you, it's going to be in your strike zone in 0.4 seconds. You don't have the time to create that kind of movements. But you now, bear with me. At the younger ages, you'll see kids with bat drag, and they'll be doing really well because the pitching is not dominant. They have the time to create the movements. But as you move up in the game, or if you're playing at the lower levels, at the younger ages, but at the higher levels of the younger ages, you're going to see some pitching from, from some closer distances that will create some pretty similar time factors that you see in the higher levels at the upper ages. So, But it's a natural movement. Ever since we were in crawl, we've been grabbing things with our hands, moving things with our hands and our arms, and just to better understand, uh, you know, with the time factors um, – and what we have to create, the power we have to create from the middle, it's a new concept sometimes to, to move mass with the middle and to move it very quickly. And so you're not doing anything wrong. It's a very natural movement. So you're not weird. Um, it's just a natural thing. But everybody can get better at it, and there's such a benefit to staying at the game at the upper ages. Um, you know, for those of us parents that have been through that, for those kids that are going through that now, I mean, for most of us, we wouldn't trade it for the world. Um you know, there's 101 values to play in this game at the higher levels. And, you know, to be able to shoot some video and be able to take a look and be able to get the type of emulation to make sure the training that you're getting, you can see it in the high-level swing. I just highly recommend it, but I very much wish the best to everybody.